As you've been learning about in theory and methods, this is a keratometer, and it's used to measure the radius of curvature of the cornea, which we use to indirectly figure out the power of the cornea. We use this instrument quite a bit for uh, measuring the corneal integrity. The main use for it uh, most of the time is to actually um, fit contact lenses. Although we don't use it in all cases for that, it's still probably the most prevalent use of it. There are a few features of the instrument that you're probably already familiar with. This knob focuses the eyepiece, which is an important first step in using the instrument. You can turn the barrel of the instrument like this to try to measure different astigmatic axes for the cornea. And you see there's a protractor scale here, of course. You also have the knobs that you use to uh, measure the cornea with. These are, on this one, noted in diopter values rather than millimeter values. Sometimes you see one or the other or even both. And there's one for the horizontal meridian on this side and the vertical meridian on this side. This knob is also used to focus the instrument. If you turn the knob, you'll see that the whole thing is scooting forward a little bit and then backwards a little bit. And the whole point of doing this is to get this end of the instrument, where we have this circle, closer to and farther away from the patient's cornea. The whole thing works by reflection. So this circle target at the end of the keratometer is the object for the eye. The eye, of course, is acting like a mirror in this case uh, as light reflects off of it, and that's what you're measuring. So light will um, leave the keratometer. It will go towards the patient's eye over here. It will reflect off of their cornea and then go back through uh, into the instrument. So if you look down the tube, you will see um, some lenses that are in there. And they're all focusing things inside the instrument to get the measurements that you take. So what you're doing then when you turn the focusing knob to move the whole thing back and forth is to get the target here, the object for the eye, exactly the right distance away from the eye. And that way, mathematically, everything will work out with the instrument. Now, the most ingenious part of this instrument is actually what's going on under the cover. So I'm going to take this black cover off here to show you what it looks like inside. And what you can see here is that we have these things on sliders. Watch what happens when I turn the power knob. If I turn the power knob here, you can see that this moves back and forth, closer towards the patient and farther away from the patient. Notice that the numbers uh, go to higher and higher doptic values, or shorter radius of curvature values, as I move this towards me and lower numbers as they go towards the patient. That won't make a whole lot of sense yet, but that's what happens. So i would move the vertical one, I can see this one is moving instead. And from this side, you can see that I've got these two little lenses in clips on each one of these sliders. Okay, and these are actually two prisms. One of them is a horizontal prism, and one is a vertical prism. The horizontal is for the measuring the horizontal meridian, and the vertical is measure, uh, for measuring the vertical meridian. So all you're doing when you turn the knob is moving this prism back and forth closer and farther away from the patient. If we go back to this view and look a little further inside the instrument, what you can see is uh, this little splitting mechanism, which has basically split the, beam, split the light going through uh, towards you away from the patient into two beams, one that is used for the horizontal prism and one that is used for the vertical prism. So this one helps us measure the horizontal meridian of the cornea. This one helps us measure the vertical. There's also these two plus lenses here uh, one of them is for fine focusing the instrument to make sure that you're the right distance away from the patient. And the other one uh, takes the image that's bouncing off the patient's cornea over here and coming back through the instrument and focusing to a point uh, over here somewhere. And the eyepiece is actually picking up the image that's formed right about here. So the keratometry is a pretty complicated instrument in terms of what it does, but its mechanism is actually fairly simple uh, to understand. So we will get more into this in class again and some PowerPoint notes about the function of the instrument, but I wanted you to at least see what the inside looks like and what you're actually doing when you're turning the knobs. It's moving uh, these prisms back and forth, either closer to the patient or farther away from the patient.